By what means do you ascend to this place? Hear me, uninvited guests. If you cross that bridge, your pathway home shall be forever forfeit. Turn back! Turn back! Turn back! <coughs> uh, you do realize I am speaking, yes? Yonder lies the lofty realm. The realm of the gods. It is no place for humans. Hi! Ha! I finally found you. I had no clue such a grand bridge was on this mountain. It's time to pay up. You won't get away from me this time, Katsura. Ishimaru, why have you chased us this far? A dunce like you probably wouldn't understand, but we're at our wit's end too. I can't let those kids go. And you, traitor, you need to die. Then I shall steal myself, if I must. Could you look any more pathetic? I can't believe you're a samurai. Whatever. Just die. What? Princess, what are you doing in a place like this? I will not allow this. Return at once, princess. The hell? What's going on? Whoa! Hmm? Oh, please do carry on. You needn't let me interrupt you. Still, how fascinating. Are you humans? You are, aren't you? To cross swords immediately upon entering the lofty realm. What a barbaric display. Go on then, get on with it. The day of tribute is such a bore. All there is to do is drink until my turn comes around. But today, my little jaunt has been rewarded with the most unexpected encounter. <laughs> uh, my princess, you mustn't associate with such... Uh, there's no need to fret. I'll return soon. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Quite the luxurious get-up. Ooh, you're most perceptive for a ruffian. Splendid, isn't it? The peak of elegance. It demonstrates my status magnificently, don't you think? Oh, you reek of sake. I thought you were a kid. How dare you! I am a hale and hearty adult! Huh. The sting of that horrible comment sobered me right up. I suppose I'll return to the banquet and reacquaint myself with the joy of intoxication. Children of men, ahead lies the domain of the gods. Turn back before the bridge vanishes. If you don't, your safety cannot be guaranteed. Or so they say. <laughs> that child has incredible strength. She mentioned a banquet. If we follow her, we might find something to eat.
make my tribute every year using only the rice they have on hand at home. How splendid it is to be a high-ranking noble. Is that so? I myself must put forth every effort. I hope that Lady Kamuhitsuki will acknowledge me this year. Too bad, so sad. You can't change the rank you're born into. Ah, I know. My dear friend Kokoroa, I'll bestow upon you the honor of helping me. The more you appear before Lady Kamuhitsuki, the more likely she'll be to remember you. <laughs> right. Then, if you would be so kind... Uh, my princess, please desist from this japery. You must fulfill your own vital duty. When you return to your seat, you must not lose yourself in drink again. This again? You're so bothersome, Tama. Being drunk has no bearing on my ability to fulfill my duty. It's child's play for... Huh? Uh-oh. Now where do you think you're going? I'm not finished speaking with... Sorry, Tana. I was wrong. I'll sober up and get to work. I'll be right back. Oh, my princess! So you finally learned to heed my words! Hey! You humans! Ugh, this is not good. This is not good! Never mind my duty. I'm going to be in hot water if the children of men wander in here. I must catch them, and quickly. You underestimate me, fool! I am a god!
This is the divine garner. Do they mean to eat my offering of rice for Lady Kamahitsuki? I absolutely won't allow it. You've done it now. I shall etch a painful reminder of your hubris upon your lowly human souls. No, wait. The alcohol and oil in here could swiftly embroil the whole place in flames. What was that loud noise? I smell something fragrant. Princess Sakuna. Y yes You have been blessed with favor as the daughter of the great warrior god Takaribi. Yet even so, you have obliterated the Divine Garner, along with the offerings I was to receive. <sighs> Alas, what have you done? I I uh, oh please forgive me! It was all their fault! <laughs> God mustn't blame their crimes on humans. <laughs> now then, children of men, identify yourselves. I am Katsura Uemon no Jo Takamori. The people call me Taemon. I'm Kinta. Who are you? The head honcho or something? I'm Yui. I don't like it here. Please send us back home. I'm Mirte, and this is... Ah! Kaimuru! We gods and you humans are of two realms. That is to say, the natural order divides us betwixt the lofty realm and the lowly realm. Nevertheless, the floating bridge of heaven which you crossed has already disappeared. Even I, the preeminent goddess Kamohitsuki, do not know when it will next appear. Therefore, until it does, you are to help Princess Sakuna rectify the disorder left in the wake of your bedlam. Rectify... meaning... Princess Sakuna, do you recall the Isle of Demons? It is the outlying island where your parents met and defeated the evil god Omizuchi. That tumultuous land has long been a nest of demons and has yet to fall under my control. You are to investigate the origin of the ceaseless horde of demons as you expunge them from the island. But, but that's... I beg your pardon, Lady Kamahitsuki, but the Isle of Demons is entirely too far away. Reaching it alone will take me days. And? Did you expect to commute from here? You will establish a foothold on the isle and see to your orders from there. Until then, you are banished from the capital. You are... Banishing us? Truly? My word is law. That is all. Now be gone. B -b banished Come, princess. Let us go. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it! I'll die if I leave the capital! <laughs> You are too old to be throwing a tantrum. What is done is done. Let us carry out our mission and return to the capital, post-haste. Sakuna? Kokoroa! I refuse to go with those humans! I wish to stay here with you! I too will be lonely without you. Sir, may I? By all means. How oh, pathetic. Such ill-fitting behavior for the descendant of the capital's greatest warrior god. However... This might actually be good for her. Raised here in luxury, the princess has wanted for nothing. 
and has grown accustomed to relying on her parents' wealth. I pray that she learns much in the course of the hardships that undoubtedly await her. Please take care of Sakuna for me. I will guard her with my life. Goodbye, Sakuna. I'm sad, but a little relieved as well. I wonder why that is. Exertion! My muscles cry out! Listen, you. Me and the samurai here are the ones who rode the whole time. I feel like my arms are gonna fall off. Now, now, it's all right. So, Lady Sakuna, what should we do now? Good question. I'll petition the old man. Old man! Hey, Tama! Are you sleeping? <sighs> so, we've arrived at last. This is undoubtedly the Isle of Demons. You truly are an old fart. You were clearly listening, so hurry and explain our next objective. Hmm. I believe this cave continues to the heart of the Isle, at which point it unfolds into a mountain pass. At its peak is the house where your mother lived. Let us head there first. Huh. Okay, got it. All right. Mosey along, children of men. Yeah. Uh, not you. You're a bit too young. Kaimaru is with me. What about the rest of you lot? Why is no one moving? Because the aisle's full of demons, huh? Right, Kinta? Yui's right. Aren't gods supposed to protect us humans? Ugh, you cheeky little twerp. You're called Taoimon, correct? Is that sword at your hip a mere ornament? <laughs> My humblest apologies. This blade may be of ancient and noble descent, but I myself have utterly no skill in swordplay. Once, when I drew it in dire circumstances, the handle slipped from my fingers. Princess... All right, fine. I shall go by myself. Then we will follow your lead.
You are not a demon. Are you a servant of Kamohitsuki? Whoever you are, you will rot here for all eternity. What did you just say? How dare you threaten me, a high-ranking noble! Uh, princess, peace. Do not interfere, old man! Keep your distance! Bear witness to the legacy of the Ashigumo. Too slow! You can't escape! I see right through you. Too slow. be headed to the same place. How did you get here? Huh? What do you mean? This mountain pass is enchanted with a spell that disorients would-be interlopers. Only those who know about the pass already are able to reach this place. And the one armed with that knowledge... ...is none other than me. It's been some time, Ashigumo. What a surprise. If it isn't Takaribi's blade familiar. We mistakenly crossed blades with you earlier, but we have no quarrel with you. Stay your hand. This is my master, Lord Takaribi's daughter, Princess Sakuna. Owing to unfortunate circumstances, we are impelled to take up residence on this isle. Is the house still here? Yes, I'm still taking care of it. So you're acquainted? You should have said! I seem to recall you rushing ahead without heeding me once again. We can talk at length later. Right. If we don't go fetch the others, they'll never find this place. I'm delighted that you figured that out! You know, sometimes I wonder if you're mocking me. Slightly damaged, but in surprisingly good condition. This is strong wood. The house is still habitable. You are called Ashikumo, correct? Why would you protect my mother's house with all these demons swarming around? I owe your father a great debt. The evil god Omizuchi, who your parents battled here, also threatened the Ashikumo tribe. 
Your father, Lord Takaribi, gave them strength and wisdom, and they triumphed over Omizuchi together. Huh. So that's why. Quite the honor, I dare say. And oh, oh, you oh, here, oh, and it's okay. okay. Inside. Hey! Where do you get off gambling through my house before I so much as set foot in it? You've toiled long and hard, and that I can see. Would you allow us to use this house? You have none other than Takaribi's daughter at your side. I cannot refuse. This must be fate. Let us aid one another. Now that we have a house, we are settled. You all can do whatever you want from now on. I shall convalesce until such a time that I am prepared to carry out the solemn duty bequeathed unto me by Lady Kamehitsuki. Whatever we want? Like what? Princess, this is no time for a royal nap. There may be a storehouse here, but its reserves are drained. If you sleep your days away as you did in the capital, you will starve ere summer comes. And as long as the demons rule this island, foraging is too great a burden for the humans alone. Your divinity dictates that you must be the one to act, my princess. You're telling me to go out and hunt? Fulfilling your duty means strengthening your foothold here, day by day. Moreover, you and this land share a deep connection. There is no better place for you to begin your journey. If not a royal nap, couldn't I at least royally procrastinate until tomorrow? Goddess, should we plant something in this field? That is a splendid idea. <laughs> but first we must find some seeds. I have some rice husks right here. My word! How terribly convenient. Why would you walk around with such a thing? Are you not a samurai? I was born into a family of warriors, but my focus is on field work, not the sword. I have kept these husks with me ever since I left home, and stoops to becoming a bandit. Wouldn't millet be easier to start off with? No, rice might prove to be just the ticket. My princess has inherited abilities from both Takaribi, the warrior god, and Toyohana, the harvest goddess. <laughs> As such, her powers are greatly affected by the five grains, and particularly by rice. We plant rice. Sakuna grows strong, yes? Indeed. It will become easier to drive the demons back. By growing rice, we can fill our bellies and reduce the demon population in one stroke. Two birds with one stone, as it were. Then it shall be so. Lady Sakuna will go hunt. We'll stay here and plant the rice. Ah, uh, we've got to help too. No work, no food, I guess. I will help too. <laughs> oh wait, I haven't had a say in this. Taoemon, I expect great things from you. Give it your all out there in the fields. Your trust will not go misplaced. <sighs> oh. Hey. Thank you. 
Yes. Is that so? Hmm. Good grief. Yeah! <laughs> 
Welcome back, Goddess. Oh. Hmm? Did something happen? Personally, I'm exhausted, but... Go see the old Simler. He's by the chef. I have a bad feeling about this. My intuition is always right. Oh. Go see the old Simler. He's by the chef. Trying to make us starve to death, you big doofus! Kinta, getting angry is bad. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm so sorry. Ah, <sighs> I'm so ticked off! You're making quite a fuss. What in the world happened? This dingus lost all the seeds in the water! What? Does that mean we cannot throw rice? All that's left is this small handful. The rest is... Apparently, he's only ever watched farmers and hasn't ever done a lick of farming himself. Ugh, this chump is dead weight. I thought you said we could trust you. How do you plan to fix this? It pains me to say so, but in truth, I lack not only the skill to fight, but any sort of manual skill at all. I adore farm work, and yet I am inept at it. I only got in the way of the farmers. I assumed I was the only one here who knew anything about planting rice, so I was inspired to succeed for once, but... Oh, I've brought dishonor upon myself. To make amends, I shall slice open my belly and... Uh, that, that is quite unnecessary. Stop! Stop right there! If you're gonna die, do it someplace where we don't have to watch you bleed out. Oh. No one wishes for you to die. We were merely asking what we're going to do for food. Having one less mouth to feed certainly can't hurt, though. Feed's enough for five people. I mean, how greedy can you get? Stop, Ermi. Why do you hurt Taoiman? Taoiman is nice. He only made mistake. I am not Yanato person, but I understand. That is not right way to act. Okay, okay. I cannot argue after being scolded by a person who is not of this land. Your name's Mirte, then? For your sake, we shall make peace. This evening, we shall all feast on the meat I gathered and turn in early. That goes for you as well, Shorty. <laughs> oh! What is it this time? I am good cook. Today, I will make meal from my country. It will be so good. Oh, okay. A dish from your country, you say? I do not know where you hail from, but I'll look forward to it nonetheless. I shall give this meat to you then. Cook us up something good. Okay, I will try hard. That's really good. Oh, I've shivered. Yuck. I'm stuffed. Thanks. What? Lady Sakuna, the leftover seeds have managed to sprout. It's finally time to plant them, but... Have you got a handle on it this time? I tend to get a bit carried away, and end up crushing the seedlings and destroying the footpaths. That sounds like quite the mess. I think that goes beyond merely being inept. Hey, Tama, what are you looking at? You're not thinking of putting me to work again, are you? Just consider how ridiculous it would be for a harvest goddess to plant the very rice she receives as an offering. No, it's not strange in the least. Our country's harvest goddess is abundantly energetic. Your mother, Lady Toyohana, worked the fields every year, as does the preeminent goddess, Lady Kamuhitsuki. Are you serious? 
Even the noble Lady Kamihitsuki mucks about in rice patties? Surely you jest. Uh, be that as it may, we cannot entrust our continued livelihood to the children of men. Most are but women and children, after all. Do not worry. I'm sure you will excel. You are none other than Lady Toyohana's descendant, after all. I am confident in my knowledge of the process, at least. I'll teach you how to do it. Don't act all high and mighty after what you did yesterday! Now then! in between. Right on. Take root! 